Hello everyone. My name is Strange, and I believe that people should know the truth. My agents from all over the world are constantly sending me evidence of the presence of aliens on Earth. But aliens from outer space are not limited to observing us alone. They often influence the fate of humanity by their actions, and very often they do this through interference in the fate of famous and popular people. Today I will tell you about the world-famous pop singer Britney Spears and how she was influenced by guests from other planets. Britney was born on December 2, 1981 in Macomb, Mississippi. Her parents were Lynn Iron, a former teacher, and James Parnell, a construction worker by profession. Unlike many other famous personalities, Britney's contact with extraterrestrial intelligence did not occur in childhood, but much later, in 2021, when Spears was finally removed from custody. Let's take a closer look at this case and its consequences. There are a few universally recognizable icons like Britney Spears in the annals of pop culture. Bursting onto the scene in the late 1990s with the debut single, Baby One More Time, she soon became the undisputed queen of pop music. Her catchy melodies, rousing performances, and carefully crafted public image have made her an idol for millions. However, in 2021, an event occurred that was so fantastic that its participant always became connected with the stars, not only metaphorically, but also literally. In the summer of 2021, Britney, who had recently felt the fruits of her newfound freedom after a high-profile and controversial struggle for personal custody, sought salvation away from the public spotlight. She took refuge in the calm deserts of Nevada. Britney has always been fascinated by the stars, often mentioning the constellations in her music and personal messages on social media. But what she faced not only changed her view of the stars, but her entire existence. According to her previously unpublished diary entries, one warm night the calm of the desert was disturbed by a bright, pulsating light descending from the heavens. At first, Britney mistook it for an annoying paparazzi drone, but when the light approached and illuminated her with a dazzling brilliance, she realized that this technology was not of earthly origin. In front of her was an apparatus of clearly alien origin. The pop icon later described the creatures that appeared as ethereal and kind, with facial features clouded by an iridescent aura, making them difficult to perceive with the human eye. They communicated not with words, but with melodies that resonated in Britney's musical soul, as if they were speaking the universal language of music itself. During what would later be called the heavenly event of 2021 on Earth, Britney Spears experienced an encounter with these creatures that forever changed the course of her life. They gave her the opportunity to look into the vast canvas of the cosmos, laying in her a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of everything musical and spiritual. She was shown visions of galaxies where each star was a note in a universal symphony sounding through space-time, a place where music was not created, but simply existed as a fundamental form of being. Britney became a conduit through which this heavenly music could be interpreted and given to humanity. When she returned to the earthly world, she discovered that her artistic expression had changed irreversibly. She began to create music that was strange but familiar, alien but earthy, complex but intuitive. Her melodies crossed the boundaries of languages and cultures, touching the souls of all who listened to them, reflecting the harmony of the universe. But great power entails great responsibility, and Britney knew she had to share this gift carefully. After all, this music had a powerful effect, directly connecting listeners to the cosmic network and such experiences could be profound and revolutionary. Is it possible to imagine that an ordinary evening turned into the most unusual in Britney's life, and thus into a new chapter of humanity's understanding? The Princess of Pop became, in fact, the ambassador of the Space Orchestra, and her next performance could be the most important act in her life. On the night of her first performance after the heavenly event, the whole world held its breath. She stepped onto the stage, a lone figure against the backdrop of a thousand twinkling lights. When the first notes spilled out of the speakers, it became clear that something had changed dramatically. The audience was enchanted, transported to places beyond their imagination, when her voice would intertwine between reality and something more sublime. But among the amazement were those who were afraid of change, who whispered that Britney Spears was no longer just a pop culture icon, but had become something else, something more. As the concert continued, many emotions were reflected on the faces of the crowd. Delight, joy, catharsis. People danced, cried, 
and even in the most vulnerable moments, held out their hands to strangers next to them, connected by the universal language of Britney's new music. The music industry, which never backs down in the face of phenomena, has tried to understand the source of Britney's transformation. But how do you measure magic? How to commercialize the message reflected from the stars? The answer remained elusive, and perhaps it was for the best. Britney's music became a beacon of hope in a world that often seemed clouded by uncertainty. Her concerts weren't just events. They became general healing sessions, leaving visitors deeply changed and longing for more as they began their own paths to understanding the depths of music and themselves. This unprecedented phenomenon has forced scientists and spiritual leaders to explore new frontiers of human consciousness. Britney unwittingly initiated a movement that crossed the boundaries between science and religion, sparking dialogues that may one day bridge the gap between these often divided disciplines. Thus, the mystical journey of a pop star has become a quest for humanity itself, encouraging us to listen not only with our ears but also with our hearts, and perhaps finally hear the music of the spheres. And that night, under the vault of an infinitely black sky, eavesdropped by the stars, a transcendent transformation took place, not only of the singer but also of everyone present. It was more than enlightenment, it was rebirth. Those who shared this space and time with her witnessed a rebirth. Each song felt like a piece that was written not for the stage, but for the soul itself. Britney's voice reflected the depth of cosmic energy, a power that could touch Z's heart and convince his mind. Critics and skeptics might call it a phenomenon that was predetermined by experimental sounds and light shows, but those who were there knew the truth. These were not just sounds, it was the call of an ancestor that was slumbering in every human soul, waiting for the moment of awakening. And when the veil fell and the hall was empty, there was only an echo of what swept through like a whirlwind of feelings. But it was clear to everyone in the crowd, they were participating in a story, part of which will now forever live on in their own stories their memories in the songs that they will hum, feeling nostalgic for the sensations that Britney once gave them. That evening, music did not just unite the masses, it revived the ancient understanding that art and music are integral components of the human soul. Now, thanks to Britney, generations will look for connections, not only among themselves, but also with what is beyond our understanding. If you think that this is not proof of the existence of aliens, then you are right. There is much more evidence and on our channel we will reveal all the secrets and evidence of their presence. Subscribe to the channel and send me your stories related to aliens by email. You will find contacts in the about the channel section. If I haven't answered you, then I'm still checking on you, because the special services of all countries have announced to hunt for me. But together we will force the authorities of all countries to disclose all the information they have. After all, people should know the truth.